Sarah from Average Betty here and I'm making crock-pot pumpkin spice cake. Just because it's fall doesn't mean the temperatures have cooled down in my neck of the woods. It's still 100 degrees outside and I don't necessarily feel like firing up the oven. But because it's fall, I need to eat pumpkin. The solution? Crock-pot pumpkin spice cake. Let's make crock-pot pumpkin spice cake. I've got a large bowl here and this is some all-purpose flour. Here's some brown sugar, baking powder, baking soda, and salt. This is some pumpkin pie spice. I like to use it because it also has cardamom in it. Here's some cinnamon, clove, and ginger. Who are you calling a ginger? Use a whisk to get everything combined. Set this aside and here's a medium-sized bowl. Here's some pumpkin, just good old pumpkin puree. Here's vanilla and some beaten egg. Get that good and combined, and here's some vegetable oil. Again, get that really well combined and set it aside for just a moment. Here are my dry ingredients again, and I'm going to make a well in the center. I like so. Here's the pumpkin mixture, and I'm just going to fold this together gently until it's combined. Here's a little buttermilk, but you can use heavy cream or even coconut milk if you like. And there you have it. Here's my crock pot, and here's a little vegetable oil. I'm focusing on the sides mostly because I'm also going to line the crock pot with parchment paper that I've cut to have these not only cute, but functional handles. Here's my cake batter. Okay, that looks good. Just put the lid on and set it for low. Try to refrain from lifting the lid during this time and you will be rewarded. Depending on your crock pot, in about one and a half to two hours, you're going to be in pumpkin spice cake heaven. Insert a toothpick into the center, and if it comes out clean, you're good to go. Allow the cake to cool in the crock for about a half an hour before you lift it from the pan. Because I'm frosting mine, I'm going to allow this to cool while I make the frosting. Here's my electric mixer. Here's some soft butter and some powdered sugar. Get that going. Now here's some vanilla. This is heavy cream. And you know the drill with buttercream frosting. Just continue mixing and adding powdered sugar until you have a thick, creamy, and luscious frosting that is completely irresistible. Now to frost the cake. Football! Just slather that everywhere. Looking good, spice cake. Caramel drizzle! Who can resist a slice of this? It's super moist. A little more dense than a cake baked in the traditional oven. And this would be good warm with ice cream too. Get the crock pot pumpkin spice cake recipe at averagebetty.com. Don't let the unbearable heat outside keep you from the warm fall flavors of pumpkin spice cake. Get out your crock pot and start baking. Thanks for watching and subscribing. See you next time. Mmm, crock pot pumpkin spice cake.